Hey everyone, this will be a very short video on my current setup for a microdose log in Notion. As many of you might know, Notion really is, in my opinion, the ultimate tool for logging and habit tracking. And I am also an avid microdoser, and that is why I decided to combine the two and to create a custom log for microdosing in Notion. All right, so why do you want to have a log while microdosing? It is important to realize, first off, that with microdosing, not everyone has the same sweet spot. So for some people, this can be 0.2 grams, for others, it can be 0.4 grams, for even others, it can be one full gram. This really depends per individual. And this log I made in order to find my own sweet spot. So I created a few properties in this Notion dashboard, like creativity, flow, productivity, mood, and then I linked that to my dosage level. So over time, I could then see, hey, if I take 0.6 grams, I perform way better and I feel way better than when I take one full gram, even though it's more, but it's too much for me. And this log really helps you in order to find your personal sweet spot. Of course, I will leave a link below in the description here or here, wherever, so that you can download this uh, log for yourself. You can play around with it. You can add properties at will. For example, if you want to track something else than what I track, feel free to do whatever you want. It's just here for you to use and to enhance your whole microdosing experience. Okay, so when you download this template, you will see this page, including this template. And first off, you will see four toggles right here. I added these just to give some more guidance and clarity on how to download the log and how to use it. But of course, I will also show that in this video. So I hope that will make things more clear. The best part to start with is the fourth toggle right here, an example. This is my own personal microdose log. I imported it in here. So this gives you quite of an ID in how to use the log and how I used it. So you can do exactly the same or you can play around, whatever you like. So let's just go property by property so that you can get an ID of how to use this log. First off, date. Well. Makes sense, right? Then the second property, day. I like to keep this in because regarding your specific microdosing protocol, it is or it can be useful to know on which day you microdose. As you can see here, I use the Fadiman protocol. So that is one day on, two days off. And this is in fact a bit of an inconvenient protocol in the sense that it's not in line with the weekdays, so it's not in sync. So as you can see here, the first day of the week, Monday, I microdosed, but because it's irregular, on the Monday after, I didn't microdose. But if you, for example, follow the Stamets protocol, then that's a bit more convenient because then you have four days on, three days off, and that means that you're always microdosing on the same day of the week. So this is just for my own purposes for... Uh, overview sake. Then the grams property. This is a number property and you can just fill in a number here with a dot point. That's important. And as you can see, I started the month with 0 0.5, then went to 0 0.75, back to 0 0.6, back to 0 0.7. So as you can see here, this really makes it clear that I am playing around with my dosage level because the first day I thought, okay, this is interesting, it's cool, but I feel I can take a bit more. Then I went for 0 0.75. That was obviously too much, as you can always also see here. And then I went a bit lower again, then a bit higher. So it's really this process of fine tuning your optimal dose in order for you to find that personal sweet spot. Okay, then we get to the properties regarding the benefits of microdosing. Again, this is subjective. You can add your own property here if you like. But for me, the most important parts of microdosing, the areas I like to focus on, are focus, creativity, energy, my feelings of gratitude, and my mood. So 
what I do, how I use this at the end of each day, I just take two to three minutes to rate my day in terms of these properties right here. And then I reflect on those ratings after a week or two weeks or a month. And then I hope I can see some patterns in there. And I can just show you right here, if I scroll down, when we go later in the month, more green. So that's good. That's exactly what you want. And this means that I found my optimal dose, as you can see here, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and 0 0.6. So it just took me one month, but it really helped me in order to, to make progress. All right, then I've also added a comment here in the form of a text property. This is fully optional, but I really felt the need, especially on a microdose day, to put my thoughts onto paper or to write something down to give a bit more context on these ratings right here. So for example, uh, here, extremely good day, high levels of focus, energy and attention on the task at hand. It was easy, easy to reach a flow state, work for 10 hours straight, blah, blah, blah. You see it here. This is just a bit of more context on these ratings and I can use then this data the next days in order to then increase or decrease my dosage level. So what I've done for you is I have created this empty template down here. And of course, I don't know when you are going to watch this video, when you are going to start microdosing. But for the whole year of 2021, I have created a view for each month. So you just select the view with this toggle here. And let's say you're going to start in August of this year, then it will load. And the first thing I would recommend is to on the first day, fill in your protocol. So let's say we're gonna go for the Fadimon protocol, the standard protocol, one day on, two days off, then that will look like this. It makes sense, right? So just do this for the whole month uh, regarding your protocol. If you're gonna do stamens or not, just your own personal protocol, whatever, fill it in. This gives you a very clear oversight, gives you overview and structure for the month to come. You can fill in the grams here every day. Then we have the properties regarding the benefits or the things that you want to track. It's already preloaded. So the only thing you have to do is to click it. And from a scale from one to 10, you can just select a number. Let's say you want to track something else, something that I didn't include in here. Just right click this property here, click on duplicate, and then you can change this to whatever you like. Let's say um, strength. For now, let's go for this. And then it works exactly the same. All right, that's basically it. I truly hope this is of value to you, especially when you are just starting out with your microdosing practice. I have noticed that when I started to implement this more systematic approach towards my practice, it really upped my game tremendously within no time. And yeah, I hope, of course, this will benefit you as well. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them here below on YouTube or send us a DM on Instagram. And of course, like and subscribe and uh, yeah, all those things. Do that now. Thank you. See you later.